news right now at 10. New developments in Hoiberg. Watch teammate coverage tonight. Tony Seaman is live in Chicago, but we begin with Scott Reister. Scott, something breaking just a few moments ago. That's right. It's the news most Cyclone fans have been fearing. Fred Hoiberg is in Chicago, and the Bulls have called for a press conference tomorrow. And just minutes ago, the Associated Press has confirmed that it is Hoiberg being introduced as the new Bulls head coach. Very exciting for the mayor. Sad for the fans in Ames, but Tony Seaman does join us now live in Chicago where this is all going down. Tony? That's right, Scott. We are live outside of the United Center and Hoiberg Watch is about to be officially over. Fred Hoiberg has reportedly made a deal with the Chicago Bulls to be their next head coach. The details, five years, $25 million. The Bulls are expected to make this announcement tomorrow afternoon. They have announced that they're going to have a press conference at 2 p.m. We will be there for that. It will mark the end of a long and, we'll say, interesting journey for the Bulls and for Fred Hoiberg. I was able to speak with a couple of Chicago sports broadcasters who have experienced all of this Hoiberg watch madness from the Windy City. It happened quickly, but it happened exactly the way we kind of expected it might. So, uh, you know, it's been an interesting process to watch this all unfold, knowing that this is probably the way the Bulls were going to go about this. That was the backdrop this entire season, like the, the ongoing feud, if you will, between Tibbs and the front office and Fred Hoiberg's name just kind of in the shadows. And we'll have a lot more from those two coming up a little later on in sports. So until then, live in Chicago, Tony Seaman, KCCI, Iowa Sports Leader. Thanks a lot, Tony. Now, what a ride it has been for Cyclone basketball. Four straight NCAA tournaments, two straight Big 12 tournament championships, a Sweet 16. The mayor could not have been happier in Ames, but in the end, the Bulls' job was just one he could not pass up. We caught up with Hoiberg this afternoon, right before he boarded a plane for Chicago. Jamie Pollard is absolutely right. This is one of my uh, life goals is a coach in that league. I spent 15 years in that league, 10 as a player, five, uh, four in the front office, one year uh, kind of in between after my first uh, heart surgery. So, you know, it is something that, uh, you know, I, I have had interest in, uh, but it, it didn't matter what offer would have come last year, I wouldn't have taken it. And, uh, you know, this year uh, things were a little bit different. Hoiberg says he would have never left for another college job. But the NBA. Do those opportunities ever come about? Sometimes no, they don't. Um, you know, but this is one um, that was very interesting to me. And, and uh, you know, just because I, you know, I played there, uh, you know, it's a, a, a great organization. I've got connections uh, in, in that organization. And now he's their head coach. But Iowa State will forever be in his heart. You know, the, the opportunity to coach here for five years and you know, it's been five of the best years of my life. Very exciting for Hoyerberg, but we're going to miss that guy, especially the dance moves, Kevin. <laughs> Scott, thank you.